Everyone and welcome to the haunted ride. I promised you guys I would do like a little bonus episode because I did have some good news for you guys and last week's episode was really heavy and so I just wanted to make something like good and positive episode and also share some news with you guys. So first off, we have reached 20,000 plus downloads guys. 20,000. I think when we reached 10, we were like, what, in was it like March or May? It was definitely a month that started with an M. And then like, we like reached it so fast. Like, holy crap. You guys, I, it is so amazing how much this podcast has grown and how, and it's not just about growth. It's about people like staying around. Like there are so many people who've just stayed around and they follow the podcast, and they check in, and they send emails, and you guys recommend and support the show, and write your reviews, and subscribe, and one of the most awesome things in the world is when I find out about some, like, new pod, I think it's called a podcatcher's platform, so basically, like, a place where you can listen to your podcast, but it has its own platform service, its own whatever, it pulls from, like, somewhere else, and so you don't know anything about it until you try it for an app. And so it's so interesting, like, whenever I, like, you know, just type in The Haunted Ride to see if anyone has even heard of us on this podcast, because to me, we're still really small. And we are. We are still super, super small. But it's so amazing to me, like, when I go and I look it up, and we have subscribers there, and I'm like, what? Like, holy crap, you guys, that is so amazing. Like, it just, I don't even have words besides thank you. Like, thank you so much. And we also, so... I made a Discord server for the podcast. I'm not even going to attempt to like be able to tell you guys what the URL is because Discord uses numbers. And while my brain appreciates numbers, uh, it's not like I'm going to remember it. However, uh, the Discord invite is on the website, The Haunted Ride. And I will put like a copy of it in the podcast description for this this particular episode. So you guys can like, if you click it, it's there, and you can join. So yeah, we did that. So those are kind of the, like the really awesome things I want to talk to you guys about. And so let me share a few stories with you. I wanted to talk about the Fae. So I have had instances with fairy creatures before. When I was a kid, I was obsessed with energy. I was obsessed with thunderstorms and nature and fire and water and being outside. And I was obsessed. I was always obsessed with magic. And I was always obsessed with ghost stories and with mythical creatures and mythology. With mythical creatures, um, I just love fairies. I mean, I remember, like, it took me a while to get to, like, learning about fairies or knowing anything about them. But I loved them. And I was like, oh, my God, I want to see a fairy. There was never a moment where I was like, fairies don't exist. And I've, I've always been that way. Like, dragons exist. Fairies exist. Everything exists. Like, I've always been that way since I was a kid. I think that's part of why, like, I'm so into the paranormal now is because I never stopped and been like, oh, you know, what? I don't think that it really exists. Not, not really. I have never said that. Like, to me, everything exists. Everything is there. And if you believe in it, you will be able to experience it or experience that, that particular being. So I read everything I could get my grubby little hands on as a kid on fairies. I was part of that, like, I think it was like scholastic readers program or something like that. And so I checked out every single book from the library that had to do with fairies, whether it was a real book or like a mythical book. I didn't care. I just checked it out and I read them and read them and read them and read them. And I really wanted to see a fairy. That's what I wanted. Lo and behold, I close my eyes one day, go to sleep, wake up. I'm doing something. I turn around and I see these little lights, just three little lights. And they're kind of like dancing and swaying. And I, re I look at them and, and in my head, they're fairies. Now, again, like I just said, in my head, they're fairies. So here's what that means. Now that I'm older, I understand it, but I didn't understand it when I was a kid, and it really messed me up. I do this with ghosts all the time, where I will see them. Sometimes you can see them, like, physically. Like, so if someone was standing next to me, 
and they were maybe a little sensitive, they might be able to see the ghost physically standing there too. And then other times I see them in like, people call it your mind's eye. I don't know if if you would associate that with your third eye or what, whatever, but sometimes I see them like that. So for me, I saw these three lights physically as a child, but I saw the image of the fairy in my mind's eye. And so to me, I thought, wait, I've been really wanting to see this thing for a while. I acknowledged I saw the three lights. They made sense to me. But I was like, oh my God, like maybe these things aren't fairies because I can't physically see them. It's almost like when you say in your mind's eye, it's almost like like a piece of your imagination comes to life and creates this figure. But you know you are not creating that figure. When I was a kid, I wanted to see them so badly, and I was a very logical child. To me, I wanted to see these fairies so badly, I was like, okay, it wouldn't be a stretch that I had drawn this image in my head. So I kind of thought that for a little, but like the fairies stayed around, like they would dance and they would ask me for things. A lot of times it had to do with plants, like water this plant or to get roses from the rose bush outside, or to bring more plants into the house, little things like that. Sometimes they would ask me to play music or dance. So they hung around probably for about, they were around every single day for maybe like a little under a week. And then I would see them intermittently for probably about like maybe three weeks and then I didn't see them anymore. So, okay. There was definitely like an instance where we had like three lights that popped up over here in the house. Out of nowhere, they came from outside, but they were kind of like yellowish green. And I didn't really see anything inside of them, but they were definitely like dancing lights. Like they were dancing lights that came in my room. And I'm talking about like now, like like a year ago. Came in my room, kind of swirled around and then left. And my mom even saw it on my alarm system. She saw the lights come from the backyard into my room and then leave my room. Like it was very clear. So that definitely happened, but I didn't really think it was fairies. I definitely did think it, I didn't think it it was not a spirit. I knew that. And I wasn't really sure what it was, but I I never really thought it was like fairies. Although that instance is very similar to what happened when I was a child, where they kind of just magically appeared. So I was driving home one night and it was dark and I just wanted light. I just wanted all of this light just to be around me, just light. And I was happy and joyful and dancing and singing and just, it was like I was like the sun. Like I was just like illuminated with the sun and, but the sun wasn't out. It was night and it was completely dark. And so I just wanted light. And I remember this voice saying, be careful what light you're pulling from because then you'll screw with your car, which I've done numerous times, which we've talked about on the, on this podcast as a slider. I've messed with my car and my car battery numerous times. So I start gathering light from street lamps. But I'm controlling it where I'm not gathering enough to like dim the light, but I'm gathering enough to have light around me. And I start seeing like in my mind's eye again while I'm driving, little like yellow orbs of light, basically like all in the car, like all around me. And then I start, of course, screwing with the car battery because eventually the car, I had the headlights on and all the lights in the car. So they do this thing where they flicker on and off three times. The radio and the dashboard lights turn off once, come back on, turn off again, come back on. Now, during this time, the headlights on the outside of my car are still on. The third time, everything turns off. So I take all the light that's around me and I basically turn around and in my mind, I put it into the car and I said, okay, it's time for you to stop. Turn my headlights back on. They come back on. I have no problems. Okay. I come home and, you know, everything's fine. And then I go and I lay down in bed because I'd had a really late night and I fell asleep. I wake up the next day and then later on, probably around in like the evening, I fell asleep again. And so I wake up again and as I wake up, I kind of like look around me and I see this big orb and it comes flying up to my face and it stops. And I look at it, and I mean, I really look at it, and I see a fairy, and it is not in my mind's eye. It is a physical, tiny little woman with wings who is looking at me, and she's not looking at me like, you know, like in the books, like they all look joyful and stuff. She's not looking at me like 
in a naive or innocent way, like how they paint fairies to be. She's looking at me like a grown ass woman who's like studying me and checking me out for a second. And I was like, oh, hello. And then she kind of like flew off. I said, okay. So ever since then, I've been really in tune with my plans. I've been really in tune when like a plan is dying or going to die. And it's, it may not be because of something I've done. Maybe it's like disease and I didn't know it when I bought it. I've been really in tune with like what my plants need. And then I'm at work and I yawn. And in my ears, I hear wind chimes. Like I hear them. And I was super, super tired and super exhausted. And I'd, I'd just been really tired like that whole week. And so I just hear wind chimes and I'm looking around. And I'm like, there are no wind chimes. Nobody's phone has gone off. Like, no, this is just me. And I was like, I bet you it's the fairy. So I now have a fairy friend. I don't know if they're always with me. I don't really know. But yeah, so we got some fairies. We've got some good news. And um, we're just having a good old time. Thank you guys so much again. Thank you for being so amazing. Thank you for everything you do. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for subscribing to the show, leaving your reviews, recommending us. Thank you for talking about us with your friends. Um, just thank you for being here. Like, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed the kind of like the little bonus episode with the short story in it. And uh, apart from that, I will talk to you guys on our regularly scheduled Monday. But in the in-between of that, take care, stay safe, love yourselves and love others. And as we always like to say, don't let the ghost get you. Bye.